Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you Hello. guys? Good evening. How's everything? Everything good. Okay, good. Are you? All right. How are you? Nice, excellent. Having, having fun. <laughs> uh, remember, today, today is Friday, right? So then... Um, good evening. Hello, good evening. Thursday. Yes. Oh, Thursday, right? Well, for me, it's Friday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the days now. Okay. Were, were you able to go out today? No? Nothing is... Nobody. Nobody, according to, the, <laughs> to your ID, right number. Okay. When, when can you go out, Eric? Uh, I think on tomorrow, tomorrow I, I, I will be able to, to get out okay. to find something at a market. Okay, just to find something to eat. Find something to eat. Yeah. Okay, good. My, my wife already make a, a list for me. <laughs> That's good. So that you can have some, some fun in the market. Yeah. <laughs> a pictionary with pictures the list yes eric what, what happened verona veronica is asking you if uh, if your list has uh, the list has pictures yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> instruction instructions and, and draw Prices, yeah, yeah. the name of the, the for, niña for, one. For, you have to go to the niña, the niña one. Yeah. That. <laughs> you buy the cheese on the niña menche, and then you buy this on the, I don't know. <laughs> okay, with names. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exactly. Good. But, but unless I, I spend less money than, than she. Than she does. Okay. So you save money. You, you get better prices. Yeah, because I, I look the prices first. I don't, I, I don't just uh, buy something because you, you need to, to watch, to look price first. Okay, good. All right. Excellent. Okay, so then uh, we have, uh, well, we have kind of nine people now. Let's let's get it started. Okay. So here's where we're going to to start now. The three point five. This is less an objective for today. Remember yesterday we were practicing with uh, relative clauses when, right? For example, when is it convenient to to do this, or when is it convenient to do that? The celebrations, okay. And now, let me see now here. Okay, hey, Veronica, can you please help me reading the the first uh, lesson objective that we have here? Okay. In this class, you will listen to an audio about a carnival. This will help you develop skills and listening for a specific information. Okay. Now, if you see, we are uh, emphasizing in the last uh, two uh, lessons. In the last lesson, we were emphasizing also the reading, right? It's an ability that we need to, to put in practice. Also, the listening. Yesterday, we were repeating the same uh, video for more listening practice. Today, there is another one for listening. And the other one is the speaking is the practice that we have, you know, every day, okay? So try to participate as much as, much as you can in practicing the, the grammar structures and vocabulary that we see in each class, okay? So now we're going to watch this video and
let's follow the instructions. And depending on the video or the material, we can listen to the same video like two or three times, depends on that. Okay, here we go. All listening now, it's disappeared. All right, it feels going to sound better. Let me share the sound from the computer, and here we go. Hey, Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, that was for you to, to get acquainted, to get familiar with the listening. And now we're going to see here just four simple questions. Okay, what is a carnival, right? And then we have to write here some information. How long does it last? When is it? And what is the samba, okay? So I'm going to play the listening again. Okay, if you want, you can write uh, or type in your computer the four questions. And then after, we are going to complete it here and we'll see if we have the correct answer, okay? Good, now listen again. Ready? Okay. Hey. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes okay. are unbelievable. Yes. People work on them for months. I don't know if my connection is... It's really is... fantastic to watch. 
Everyone dances the samba in the book. I, I'd really I reckon. Listen to anything. It's just me or everybody? Uh, people, do you listen to that? I listen. I listen very well, teacher. Yes, I listen very well. I listen to. Okay, so probably then it's next okay. maybe. Okay, try to fix it and let me know. Okay. 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 All right. Probably you can you can mute mute your your microphone so that probably you can listen better, right? Oops, we have what happened? There was a problem doing this audio file. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous part is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay. What is a carnival? Anybody who has the answer? It's a what party is? for four days. Uh, let's say it's a four. Four day party. It's a four, four day party, right? Okay. How long does it, well, it's a. All right here, it is. It is a big party. It is a big party. Okay. How long does it last? Four days. Four days. Four days. When is it? In March. February and early March. March. Uh, February? February and last in week March. was February and early March. Early March. March. Sorry. Sorry, Veronica. Early March.
What is the samba? It's a dance. dance. It is a dance. Okay. Good. Now let's see the answers. Okay, here are the possible answers. You can write it is a party, okay? Uh, party only, or party, or you can write carnival is party, okay? Uh, the big is not a, a it's all right, okay? Just to mention. Uh, how long does it take? It lasts for all days. It lasts for four days. Four days, okay, four days, four whole days. What is the meaning of whole? Complete, okay, whole is complete. And last is the, the time that it takes, right? The time that it takes. It lasts for a whole, uh, for four whole days. It lasts for four days, four days, four whole days, and for four whole days. But these are all the possible answers. When is it? Now uh, it's on late. Okay, it is. You can also write it. Late for February or early uh, March. Uh -huh. It's on um, March 20th. On late February. Late February. On late February. And early March. Okay. And early March. Okay, it is on late February or early March. It is on late February or early March. So we have to eliminate here. And okay. So these are the possible answer. And then it is a ten. It is a ten. It's a ten with a contraction or just the dance, okay? So these are the possibilities according to this. Okay, now I, I'm going to play it again for you to, to listen, right? Check if you can, uh, if there are, if you can probably identify a word that is new for you or something that, mm, that you, an expression probably that you like that you can, get from here and then use it, okay? Just pay attention to all the details. Hey, Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. 
Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay. Any questions? I got one. I, I don't know if he's, he's good, he's, uh, but big barrel, what is the meaning? Parade. Big barrel. Parade. 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 What, what is that? Big parade is like when the people are, you know, marching in the street, right? In organized groups, organized uh, lines and rows. Like the Independence Day. The Independence Day, you see the school, the military uh, marching in the street. Okay. That oh, is, okay, okay. That okay. Is, that's a parade. Mm -hmm. uh, streamers. The streamers. I don't know what is that. What is a streamer? Yep. Anybody? Uh -huh. Anybody who wants to share? Yes, I listen that. The whole city is decorated with colors and streamers. I, I didn't understand too. Okay. What do you think is the streamers? In the context, remember the context that we have? Transmission video. The what? Transmission video. That's, that's one way, okay, but what else? What is another one? That you can use the whole the parade is transmitted by by streaming by streaming okay yes what are some of the streamers that we get there is a lot of people walking around okay uh-huh uh in which context did you get it Teacher, I don't it know is if full it's of people. the same, uh, uh, for example, to say extreme, uh, something uh, very um, different, strange. Okay. I don't know if the same word or different context, different word. Okay, listen. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio from Carnival. Wow, Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. Okay. You know this one. It's colored lights and streamers. What, 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 what comes to your mind? What is the idea? Don't, don't say it in Spanish, right? Don't say it in Spanish. That's, I think it's this part, like is part in, of in the... Live. Sorry. What is it? Veronica? It's in put in 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 a, in, a, in a moment. I don't know. It's like a, in a live in a live show. Decorate all the streets around. Uh huh. This the parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parade with what? With, with lights, with lights and and flowers and people. Uh huh. And things that, for example, that are um, a decoration, right? That is hanging, yeah. right? With for example. What are some of the streamers that we use here in El Salvador? For example, Independence Day, you can see the streams the, the with, a lot of, with a lot of flags. Flags. flags uh -huh. Uh -huh, with a lot of flags. Mm -hmm. When you go to San Miguel, you see the, the streams in the street, okay, hanging with a lot of papers of different colors. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. So the so decorations. Are, exactly. This. But the streamers, you know, the spring, with flags and different things hanging and that make the place look more 
more vivid, more vivid, right? Lively. Like, like May the fifth in in Mexico. Uh huh. Okay. Correct. Okay. What else? What is another, another word that you heard? It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you... Okay, no problem? Oh, no problem. Ever have the chance. Ever had the chance. Okay, uh-huh. Ever have... If you ever, uh, if you ever had the chance, you. The costumes are unbelievable. People oh, yeah. work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, if one time in your life you have an opportunity to travel to Brazil and Rio, they recommend you to to go to the carnival, right? So if you ever, if at least one time in your life, you have the chance or the opportunity. To mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's about the listening, okay? You know, this is uh, an abstract. Then let's... I was to practice that um, that skill, the listening. Remember that there are four skills, right? Listening, reading, writing, and speaking, okay? Then, uh, Jorge Lemus, can you please read this objective here? Yes. In this session, you will listen and practice some conversation about reading, custom, adverbial, clause, or time wheel be introduced okay now we have the wedding cost wedding, wedding custom. Now, this is the what are customs these are like kind of traditions right kind of traditions that people have okay that people have when they for weddings uh, when the people get married right for example, what are, what are some of the customs that we have in El Salvador? We dress, white dress. The white dress. The white dress. Uh huh. The veil. The what? The parade. The white veil. What veil? The white veil. Uh, I think it's veil. The the white thing in the face. Ah, oh, yes, I have veil, I have the veil. Uh -huh. yes. yes, veil. Yes, I have the white dress complete, you know, covering the, the bride, right? Covering the parade the, too? Uh, there is a kind of parade in some, uh, in some uh, places that they go from the house. When people the throw um, rice. Rice. Uh -huh. rice, and rice. rice and beans, yeah. I guess, right? Yes, uh -huh. yes, yeah. Uh, but I don't remember, is at the beginning or at the end? At the end, right? Uh, at the end. The end. Uh, when the people are coming out. When they came, came out, uh, yeah, when they coming out the church. Church, yes. Okay, good. The other one can be when the bride uh, take the flowers. I don't know how to say it. Oh, yes, they throw the bunch. The bunch. The bunch, yeah, yeah. bunch and, and, and go to back. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, you know, she's, she throws back at the... Uh, the bunch of flowers, and then the all the single women, right, have to catch it. You know? Veronica is always there. She's the first one, right? Right, Veronica. Oh, sorry. Uh, have, have you me? have you ever caught a bunch of flowers in a wedding? Uh, no. No. I never. <laughs> it's because I'm single. After no, no, no. That's why. You're it. Always... No, I, I never, I never gone because I or, you're right. get married yet. <laughs> okay, you never, you never gone to a wedding. 
No, but to catch the, ah, to, catch to the, participate in, the, in the action okay. to the, catch the, the catch how it. do you say the, the name? Catching the bunch. The, the, the of name of the flowers? Bunch. A bunch of, bunch of flowers. flowers. Bunch okay. of flowers. Okay. And the man throws the, the garter from the bride. Oh yes, they they throw the 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 leaf, right, or something they have. Yeah, the leaf. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, these are you know some customs that we have in El Salvador. So let's see. Let's see what the video says. Wedding day. Okay. Uh, let's listen. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. After ceremony. Practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yeah. Ceremony at a shrine. That's wedding pictures are really beautiful. Before and after a ceremony. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, so first one, they have a, they said it's a, it's a shrine, right? It's like a shrine is an altar, right? Uh, it's not exactly inside the, the church, right? Not in a temple. It's a, an altar, okay? Uh, sometimes it's an open doors, right? Or outdoors. Shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. Okay. What is the other custom? Only family, close family, right? 
during the ceremony. Okay, and after the ceremony? Family and friends. Family and friends, and they have a reception, right? Reception. They have a reception. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Okay, so what, what happens during the reception? The reception? Uh, they sing songs. About and they have a dinner. They speech. Uh -huh, they have they dinner. dinner. The, then the guests. I mean, the, the guests singing. They have they sing, and there is a speech, right? A speech. A speech. A speech. A speech. A speech. 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 They say things about the the couple, right? They somebody speak. Okay. Somebody speak okay. and give and wish something. Speech is is like when you talk in front of of the people yes. loud, right? Exactly, right. That's a speech. Yes. Okay. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest. Okay. What are the other two before they leave? Guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride. Okay. What are the presents? Get the money. Money, right? There is the money. money. Bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it... Okay. So also the, the couple, the... The newly, the newly wed, the newly wed uh, couple, they give presents to the guests. The guests, right? Uh, what is the the present? A gift. Ceramic box. A ceramic. A ceramic. A ceramic bowl with uh, with candies, right? With candies. It's custom. Teacher, it I have a question. Like it's a wonderful ceramic box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. Okay, it's a ceramic box. With, uh, with sweets. sweets or candy because sugar full of yeah. happiness in Japan. Wait, Eric. Just, um, uh, it sounds like it was a okay, wonderful okay. day. Oh, it really was. Hi, listen to the following conversation. Ice custom. It sounds like it was a. Uh -huh, Eric. What, what is the different? What is the difference between afterward? in after just after uh, after is for example that something that happens in this moment and afterward is more more uh, a more emphatic right so that you say for example uh i will answer that question to you in spanish afterward like you know when the class is over right or you can okay, ask okay. Me, okay. you can ask me after the class if i say afterward i don't see afterward the class i don't need it but if I say after, only after, they say after. After what? Okay, after the class. Okay, and after okay. worry something like uh, when we finish what we are doing, right? So then that's the, the difference. Okay, thanks. Okay, all right. Good. So then it uh, says in our discussion box, we listen to the conversation as much as possible. Okay, now what were some of the Closest that you heard. Closest? Uh -huh. Wait. So adverbial closest of time will be introduced, right? Listen to this. The wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Hi, listen to the following conversation and find out how people in Japan celebrate their weddings. Pay attention to what they do before and after a ceremony. 
Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures were taken right after the ceremony. Okay. Those pictures were taken right after. Right after the ceremony. Remember yesterday we were using when, right? Now we have after and before. Okay, those pictures were taken after the ceremony. Those pictures were taken before the yes. ceremony. Those uh, pictures were taken when the ceremony finished or when the ceremony was over. So you see how you can use when, before, and after, you know, to connect ideas, right? So then now you pay attention when you listen to before and after. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, when people when married, when people get married, they, send, they sometimes have a ceremony at a shrine. So this is uh, another expression. Shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Okay, after the dinner, okay, after the dinner is served, the guests give speeches. So, then first they serve the dinner, and after the, the people their speeches, right? It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Before the guests leave. Before the guests leave, then the, gro the, the groom and the bride give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes. And the guests give money to the bride and groom. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar. Now here you have a question. What did the bride and groom give guests? They gave up. It's a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with sweets. So we gave each guest a ceramic box filled with, with sweets. Filled with sweets. What a nice custom. But, it sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Okay. Okay, you have the idea now, right? Wait, wait, this is for the rhythm, this is something else. It was before. Okay. Okay, now which are the, the, the words that we have before and we also have? And after. And after. Okay, yesterday we practiced with when. Today only we're going to try to use before. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, for, for example, if I said, okay, I'll, before I forget, okay? Before I forget, uh, I will tell you that tomorrow we don't have class, okay? Before I forget, okay? And then uh, tomorrow we don't have class, okay? Then I have to inform before the class is over, okay? So these are, you know, the, the time expressions that we can use. And these are, you know, like the adverbial clauses, right? Okay. Then question, I mean, no question, sentence, practice. Think about expressions where you can use before or after. Um, hey, teacher. Yes. Uh, I can say uh, the before at the end of the, of the uh, like, I haven't, I haven't tasted that before. I haven't. I haven't tasted the 
the um, the Garrobo meat before. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, yes. you need to put it in a context, right? For example, if the, suppose you say uh, this afternoon I ate uh, Garrobo, okay? Uh -huh. And it was uh, a nice. I I haven't tasted before because it, it was a nice experience because I haven't tasted I haven't it, tasted, tasted it. it before. Okay. Uh, yes, you know, in the occasion okay, I hadn't tasted it before, you can you can use it. So this is something that a new experience. For example, you know, uh, uh, something that I hadn't tasted before, it was the role. But this afternoon uh, it was my first time. So and in a different way, right? Yes. Okay. What else? Another for example? example teacher, for example, teacher. Yeah, Ronnie. Before before the class is over. Please remember that I sing a song. Oh, okay, today. It's an example. It's an example. Uh, no, come on. I'm not singing a song. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was, li is, uh, was ready to leave in this moment. I mean, <laughs> everybody was getting ready to listen to you. Yes. Okay. Okay, it's thank you. Thank you for, for the people is sleeping. <laughs> yes, no. Thank you, before, uh, thank you for telling us before you do that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> thank you for yes. warning. Thank you for, for warning us. For warning us. <laughs> yes. But, okay. Anybody else? <laughs> Another example that you can use. Okay. Try to use. Uh, see to. I, I help you with uh, giving you ideas. For example, uh, a, I let's say. Um, Imagine that you have a picture and you say, okay, this picture was taken uh, before I finished university, okay? Or you can say, for example, uh, uh, I bought my car before I started to work, right? So then, uh, oh, I, or I bought my car, the opposite, I bought my car after I started to work. Okay, uh, I got. When do you get married? I got married before or after? I got married uh, after I finished my university. Okay, uh, I got. Uh, let's say, um, uh, I took a shower before this class. Ah, no, nah. it was in the morning. Okay, uh, you can, uh, for example, before uh, I. Or you can say, I had dinner before I started the class. Or, or the opposite. I will have dinner after I finish the class. So it depends. Okay? Or I ate a snack two hours before this class. So you see, you know, you can use in different ways. Okay? Try to think about examples. Practice your vocabulary and ideas, pronunciation. Okay, sure. I have one. Jonathan, go. Um, I learn English before to look to look up a better job. Okay. Uh, I will learn English before to look for to look look looking for look uh, for look for, a, look for a, a better job. Correct. Exactly. Okay. I will learn English. Better. And then you can say, well, you can say, I will improve my English because you speak English now. Okay, I will improve my okay. English before, okay. uh, before I get another uh, better job. Before better I get a better job. Okay. 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 okay, George, and then Eric. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I like to drink milk before I go to the sleep. I like to drink uh, milk before I go to sleep, right? Oh, I I am used to, I am used to drinking milk before I go to bed. I mean, your sentence is correct. I'm just giving you other, other ideas, right? Okay. Go Thank ahead. you so much. Thank you, Eric. Okay, talking with my brother, I can say, after you leave, you you need to turn off the light. Okay, after you leave, okay, uh, don't forget to turn the light. Turn off the light. Okay. Or you need to turn off the light. Yes. Teacher. Okay. Yes. 
the Veronica. Yeah. 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 Okay. After the quarantine, I'm going to go to the beach for one week. Okay. No, I remember, Veronica, you said that after the quarantine, you were going to invite us to have a barbecue in your house. Okay. Uh, yeah, and party for all, all the, the classmates of yes, you, English. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. And then we and you bring the, the, the beers. No, Gio, <laughs> yes, Gio brings the, the beers and the music, okay, the guitar. Okay, and music too. Okay, yeah. Ronnie was going And Eric to... brings the, 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 the beef. <laughs> okay, yes, Gio is bringing, what are you bringing, G uh, Ronnie? Ronnie is going to bring uh, to the party. And the soda. The soda. The champagne. Oh my God, Ronnie is it's a ghost Ronnie is stingy, right? No, it, it's for I work there. No, you're stingy. You're stingy, Ronnie. <laughs> only, only cola champagne. No. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gio, bring the the, the beers. Ah, yeah. you, and you, you have you whiskey bring and rum. Yes, ah, you can uh, okay. uh, tequila or uh, uh, you are a, tequila, uh, yeah. some I wine. You are a good person. You, you, you don't you say. You, we don't <laughs> drink. No, we People. don't drink. <laughs> Drinkers. <laughs> I know, we don't drink. No, we don't drink. Okay. We don't drink like yeah. normal people. Yeah, normal oh. people. <laughs> okay. Another expression, another, another sentence. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, Teacher. John, uh, Evelyn. Uh -huh, Evelyn. Yes. Go ahead. For example, uh, I will prepare a dinner after the English class. I will prepare dinner after my English class. Yes, that's correct. Okay, I can smell it okay. now. Ah, good. Smells good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it smells good. Or I am hungry, maybe. Okay, Jonathan. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try say a uh, a famous phrase. Uh, uh -huh. We uh, we were happy for the quarantine, and I I didn't know it. We were okay. We were before. Uh, we were happy before the quarantine. Uh -huh. Okay, and we didn't know it. Uh huh. Yeah, sounds uh, philosophical. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sounds very very <laughs> philosophical. Yeah. We were happy before the quarantine and we didn't know it. I like it, sounds good. Okay, Jesenia. Hi. Be before you go to sleep, tell me a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, uh, before... Before the quarantine, I I celebrated with uh, with a party I in my house. I celebrated uh, what? I celebrate the, the freedom. Okay, <laughs> celebrate after the quarantine. Before. Before. No, after is después, no? Uh huh. Yes. Okay, after the quarantine. Aha, uh -huh, exactly, right. So after the quarantine, you will celebrate the freedom with a party in your house. Okay, good. That's correct. Thank you. Okay, Aide. De Jose Armando. After quarantine, I will thank God because I will be alive. <laughs> okay, that's very good. I know it's that. supposed to, supposed to. No, no, I mean, yeah. It's I believe, to. I believe. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. I will be. Yes, <laughs> no, I will thank God because I will be alive. Okay, after yeah. Yes, okay, good. Roberto. Yes, Roberto, I'm here. here. Okay, Roberto, tell us a sentence. Okay, I, I used to, after the class, Go to the bed. Okay, I am used to going to bed after class. Okay. I'm used to. Okay, this is something that you already practice. Okay. Yes. Very good. Hi Dave. Are you there? Okay. 
Eduardo, then Eduardo Ponce, tell me. Okay. I write an outline after the class. I I write. I write an outline after class. After class. Okay, good. Teacher. Okay. Oh yes, okay. There you are. Yes, yes. My my microphone. No se activado. Ah yes, it was mute. Okay. okay. I call my mother before going home. I call my mother before going home. Okay, that's a good custom. Good. Perfect. Uh, Edisa? Eddie, are you there, Eddie? Okay, Laura? Um, I will take a shower after I finish my, I finish my English class. Okay, good. All right. Yes, because right now it's really hot here. Okay. Then, yes, Evelyn. Correct. After the quarantine, I go. I will go to the beach. Yes, I'm going to go. Okay. Or I will go. Yes. Okay, Cecil. I will do workout after all my class. I'll. Uh, I work out. I work out. After, work out after, after my class. After class. Okay. After class. Good. Class. Okay. Laura. Teacher. Yes, Eric. Teacher. Uh, teacher, this is Elisa. Okay, Eric. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, after the quarantine, uh, I will go to the Ruta de las Flores. <laughs> okay. That's a good trip. Family. It's a good trip. Okay, it's a good trip. Good. Uh -huh, Eric. No, I um, just have a question. When, I don't know who say it is working out before the class? Laura, After yes, the class, Laura, sorry? Yes, I guess, yes. Okay, you can also say uh, working out or, or just work out. Depends. Well, I mean, say the sentence. Okay, after, after I finish the class, my, my, my class, I'm going to, I working out. You, you yes. can also say that. I'm working out after my class. Uh -huh. I am working yeah. the plan. Yes. Okay, I'm okay. Working out after my English class. Yes. Okay, uh, anybody else? Uh, who's missing? Uh, oh yes, George here. George. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, in this quarantine, because of your your house, don't forget to put your mask. Mask. Okay. Say it again. In this quarantine, before go off your uh, your house, don't forget to put your mask. Yes. Okay. Before going out only. Okay. Going out. Repeat it again. Okay. Huh? Going out. Yes. Okay. Repeat it. Uh, the, the sentence. Okay. Bef uh, in this quarantine, before going out to your house, don't forget to put your mask. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, excellent. Is okay. correct, teacher. Mm -hmm. After the quarantine, I will go visit my parents in the United States. I will go to visit. I will go to. Mm -hmm. I will go to visit my parents in the United States. Yes. Yes. It is correct. Okay, good. Nice people. Teacher, okay. I have yes. a question. Go ahead. In the, in the sentence, uh, before, it is correct to say before leave the house? Before leaving. 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 Uh -huh. What do you use? In the sake of going off. Going out. Before going out going or before leaving. Uh, oh, okay. remember, remember that if you're going to use a verb, okay, an action, after, before, or after, or after then you're going to use the verb in ing, okay? okay. Uh, before leaving your house, okay, uh, put lock, your mask, lock the door, okay? Before leaving the house, uh, turn off the light. Huh? Uh, after leaving your house, a probably what can you do after leaving your house 
after leaving your house? It, don't forget your duty. Don't forget. <laughs> to turn off the TV. No, <laughs> your ID. After, leaving the ha after leaving your house, don't forget to come back, okay? <laughs> alive. Yeah, alive, okay, that you have to come back home, okay? Yeah. Especially, if are, especially if you are married, okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because yeah. you have to forget that in the house. Yeah, you know, you have to come back and cook. You have to come back and <laughs> prepare the dinner and everything. Okay? Good. Sure. Yes, I did. I cleaned my house before I revealed my brother. I cleaned my house before my brother arrived. Okay. Plus, okay, this is another thing. If you're using present or past, right? I cleaned, in past tense, my yeah. house before my brother arrived. Okay? Okay. If it is okay. in the future, in the future, you can also say, I will clean my house before my brother <laughs> arrives. In present, okay? Okay. Yes? Okay, okay I yes. will clean my house before. Suppose that you are, uh, you have a big disorder in your house, a big mess in your house, and then uh, you said, okay, I will clean the house before my mother comes. Okay? Okay. I will okay. make, I will make my bed after I get up. Okay, tomorrow morning, the first thing I will do is uh, make my bed after I get up. Okay? okay? Got it. Okay, good. Thank you. What else? Any other doubt or question? No question. Okay. I will learn more vocabulary and after the class. Okay, I will learn or I will practice more vocabulary after class. Okay, good. Uh, you can say, for example, I will be more fluent in English fluent. after right. I finish my English levels. Okay? Okay, good. Now let's see. First guy. Yeah, first guy. All right, so then let me show you the next uh, for the topic for intonation and practice. Uh, Yesenia, can you please read this objective here, please? Okay. Uh, by the end of this uh, session, you will be able to not, not, notice, notice, notice. 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 Not it, uh, the street and rhythm. <gasps> the rhythm, rhythm in in sentence. Okay, sentence. Uh, which is the the pronunciation? Rit rhythm. 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 Express the rhythm. Okay. Is it written on the night? Yes, that's correct, Gio. Right? <laughs> ah, okay. You see, uh, he was going to be the singer, I told you. Okay. No, it was Rigo. This one was, it's not Rigo, it's not Night. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> this is raining on the night. <laughs> this is Gio on the night. <laughs> Pronunciation, <laughs> stress and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences, then practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. And practice. 
Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, here you can see where the stress is. Okay, when people, okay, when people get, get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay? People get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Good. Okay. Let me see. Uh, okay, Laura. Are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay, can you read the sentence? When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Very good. Perfect. Eric? Okay. When, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Good. Okay, Gio. Uh, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Perfect. Okay, good. Ronnie? Uh, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes at the shrine. Uh, can you repeat it? Because I couldn't hear. So. When people get married in Japan, mm -hmm. they sometimes have... Okay, yes, I think there is a problem there in the mic. Okay, but it's good. Yes, sounds first part sounds good. Uh, I did. Okay, when people okay. get married in Japan, they <laughs> <laughs> when okay. go ahead. When people get married in Japan, they some sign have the ceremony at a shrine. Yes, okay, sometimes. Okay, Yesenia and then Jonathan. Um, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. At a shrine, yes, okay. At a shrine. Who was the next one? Okay. Yeah. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at shrine. Okay, thank you. George Lemon. Okay, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. At a shrine, okay, good. Okay, uh, Ceci, good? When people get Mary in Japan, they sometimes have this ceremony at a shrine. Okay, good. Roberto. Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a, the ceremony at a shrine. Good. Uh, Evelyn. Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony in trim. At a shrine. Shrine. Okay, uh, Veronica. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at shrine. Ceremony at shrine. Okay, Roberto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a the ceremony. At a shrine. Yes, okay, I guess uh, Jose, Jose Armando, I think you're missing. Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony in a shrine. A shrine. And Eduardo, right? You didn't say it? Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, good. There you go. 
Okay, everybody, right? So this is the, well, practice the video, watch the video again, practice the other sentences, right? Uh, this is for, to, to get more, uh, let's say, flexibility in our points of articulation here, right? So that you can have, this will help you to get more fluency when you speak, right? And for the pronunciation, okay? So watch, watch the video and listen to the sentences. And we're going to start the practice on Monday uh, with the exercises on pronunciation. Remember that uh, now we're practicing the skills of reading, listening, okay? But also it is important that you that you feel more uh, more more fluent. And the other way that you feel fluent is speaking, practicing, no other way, right? It's the only way. If you speak, good. If you don't speak, then it will take you more time to get the fluency, okay? It's gonna take you more time to get the fluency and to think in English. Okay, remember okay. because when we speak English, when we practice, we think in English. Okay, teacher. Yes, sir. You can give us. You can give us uh, advice for how to start to think more in English and not just in Spanish. Uh, this one, what we're doing in this moment. And this is what I have been doing. I to ask you to give me, give me sentences to create in the moment. Okay, be okay, okay. improvised sentences. It doesn't matter okay. if they are incorrect in this moment, okay? But I will give you the, the correct uh, pronunciation, the correct uh, way to say it, but you speak, you produce your own English, okay? okay? Okay. Practicing like this in this moment is one of the best ways. The other way, the other one is reading, okay? Reading, okay, okay. Uh, reading uh, uh, and listening. Watch movies in English, only in English. Just be doesn't because matter. doesn't matter how much you understand. Because I think English. that is the harder part of of learning English. Yes. Uh, stop. Uh, stop to think in Spanish, right? Stop thinking. Stop thinking. Stop thinking in Spanish. Stop thinking in Spanish. Okay, everybody. That's all for today. Okay, so I will see you on Monday. Have a very nice weekend. Okay, watch a couple of movies in English and dream in English. That's what it's <laughs> Drink to no, in English. No, no, no drink. <laughs> not drink. Not drink. Drink in English. There is a big difference. There is a big difference. Drink. Dream. Drink. Dream. <laughs> I, I, I say drink. In I English. Know. Ya yeah, ven que dice una alegría, todos se ríen. <laughs> drink when a, when a, a gringo. Yeah. <laughs> drink. No, but drink. Drink, drink with, with a gringo. Drink card. with a <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, it's good that you end up, you know, happy. Okay? Still with energy. Okay, very energetic. Okay, bye-bye. Yes, Have a good, good. night. Bye. 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 Bye.